Hey, Brand, it's Les. I thought I'd make your own personal video on how to unstick your blower. I also had two other people with the same issue this week, so I said I might as well make a video on doing this. Uh, hold on. Okay. What I've got here, I want to explain the blower and how it works and why a lot of people say, well, I've, it don't stick all the time. I'll run the machine uh, years and it's never stuck. Well, it's kind of like you're playing, playing Russian roulette with the blower. When the rotors turn, when you shut the machine off, they're going to stop in some position. But if it happens to stop in the T position, all right, come just a little closer, where this is the T, I call that the T position, that's where you got contact here, 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 here. Really, don't actually contact. There's 5,000 clearance there. And if the blower sits without being lubricated, that's why we want people to lubricate the blowers at the end of every day. It's especially if you let them sit over the weekend or a week, and it happens to stop in this T position, this is when they get stuck. And it's just a fine little layer of rust in between here and here. Really, it's not on the end plate, so you're not going to have to um, remove the end plate or loosen it, because you know, that's not really where it sticks. It's actually sticking here on the, where the, in the T position. And what I like for everybody to do, I want you to get some three-in-one penetrating oil. Don't use WD-40. You'll spray it in the inlet and spray a lot, a tremendous amount. And but, but both sides if you can. If you can't, you just get one side. And a lot of times you might have to let it sit overnight. Now, one thing a lot of people do is they'll put a pipe wrench actually on the shaft. Don't put the pipe wrench on the shaft. Blowers have pulleys and pulleys have bushings, like here. And to put the bushings, what's on the blower, and the uh, pulley is bolted to the bushing. So what I want you to do is when this is on here, I want you to put the pipe wrench on the bushing. Turn the bushing, okay? Now, you'll turn it this way or that way. You have to try both ways. A lot of times you'll put a little cheater bar on there, but be careful because I've actually bolted these to a table and they would almost, you could feel almost twist in the shaft. So I found another way that works every time. And this works every single time. Once you lubricate your blower, and it will not free up with a pipe wrench, and try not to put a cheater bar on it. This is what I've come up with, and it works every single time. Get you a two by two, put it in the blower against the load. Take a large, you gotta get a big heavy hammer, and hit it, hit the rotor, actually physically knock the rotor. Now once you move it just that little bit, then you can put your pipe wrench back on there, and it'll free right up. Once the blower moves any, just the slightest amount of movement, it's free. And like I say, just make sure that at the end of every day that you lubricate your blower, and that's why. And another thing uh, about lubrication, the early blowers, like Judson has over three, 400 blowers in the textile industry that run on 30 weight non-detergent oil. That was in the old days, that was what was recommended for blowers. Now if you've got an old blower, uh, that'll be fine. You can run 30 weight. Uh, I would say if you've got a blower that's over six years or five years, something like that, then it's probably got 30 weight non-detergent. We got blowers, those 400 blowers have been running 24 hours a day since 1980. I would say they got 300,000 hours on them. Let me grab a rag here, it's hot in the shop. Anyway, so we got, you know, a service record with blowers that nobody's got. We got hundreds of blowers running 24 hours a day since 1980, so however many hours that is, 200,000 or something, but they're in commercial uh, textile mills in the U.S. Postal Service. We're a contract, a federal contractor with the Postal Service. The other oil is if it's recommended to use synthetic, use synthetic oil, whatever they say. Now, there is a Mobile One synthetic oil that can be used with the blowers. Now, I'll have to get on the computer and search which one it is. I think it's a straight, it's a 30, straight 30 weight, not multi-grade 
uh, mobile one synthetic is also approved so you can get that local if you can't find any but if the blower needs synthetic use synthetic and change the oil whenever it's recommended but that's wanted to make a quick video I always use penetrating oil you can get that to auto parts do a direct hit on the rotor and it'll work every time and be careful on torquing the shaft with a pipe wrench and a cheater bar you can actually twist that shaft I know it's hard to believe but you can feel it flexing if you put too much torque on it but every time ever since I've come up with a direct hit on the rotor every time pops it loose so if you can get in there direct hit it once you move a little bit then you can take the pipe wrench and get it loose and that's all there is to it so Brent I made your own personal video just for you on the blower getting it unstuck see ya